Well, hello, all of my students. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Jay, and I want to welcome you to another English lesson here on the channel. Of course, I have the opportunity, and I am humbled that you would listen and watch my lessons where I can help you with your English vocabulary, comprehension, and fluency. So I hope you're ready for today's lesson. As always, you can read today's lesson down in the description of today's video. That will be down there and you can follow along with me as we read and as we talk about the story and just have a good time. You can read along with me there. Also, if you are in need of subtitles, you can turn that on and those are available. All right. I hope you're ready for a little bit of learning and some laughter. Let's dive into today's lesson. Jacob was thrilled to teach his grandma or grandma. <laughs> who had never used a smartphone, how to use one. Let's read and repeat, and I will explain some things. Jacob was thrilled to teach his grandma how or who had never used a smartphone how to use one. So this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> but when someone is thrilled, they are excited. OK, they are enthusiastic. They are happy. They are looking forward to doing something. Or you can explain or express a thrill by saying uh, it was thrilling to learn or I was thrilled to teach you. And in today's story, we're going to see that Jacob was thrilled to teach his grandma how to use a smartphone. Now, when it comes to discussing or talking about a grandparent, we often say grandma. Some people say um, I've heard a lot of nicknames for grandmother. <laughs> Granny is what I used. Granny and grandma. Some people say uh, uh, Nana. <laughs> when it comes to grandfather, I've heard Papa. And so it's quite funny to me to hear people and the nicknames that they have for their grandparents. Now, before we go to the next sentence, can you locate the compound word? If you are a regular here on the channel, you know I enjoy compound words. So a compound word is two words in one. I'll give you three seconds. The compound word is smartphone. Smartphone. Two words in one. Smart and phone. Let's go to the next sentence. She was a bit nervous, but excited. Let's read and repeat. She was a bit nervous, but excited. So when someone is a bit, it's a phrase that we use to describe a little bit. She was a bit or a little bit. You might use it in a sentence by saying, I didn't eat all of my food last night. I just ate a bit, not a bite, a, a bit. Can I have a little bit? <laughs> Sometimes we say a little bit, a little bit. So grandma was a little nervous, like most seniors are when it comes to technology. And as I get older, I'm getting to the age like my parents. Oh, Lord. I remember when I was a child and we had VHS or VCRs. 
and my parents used to ask me, how do we record? How do we do this? How do we do that? And because I was young and into technology, I would be like, oh my gosh, you're so old. Now <laughs> I'm older and I have to ask my kids uh, and, and kids at the church, how do you do this on Instagram? How do you tag? How do you do that? How do you? <laughs> so now the tables are turned. That's the phrase that we use. The tables are turned. So you are where you would never thought you would be. The tables have turned. Jacob patiently, patiently showed her how to make calls, send texts and take photos, photos or pictures. Let's read and repeat. Jacob patiently showed her how to make calls, send texts, and take photos. So Jacob had to be patient, okay? There was a learning curve for grandma. <laughs> Slow down, she may say. Do that again, she may say. This is so confusing, she may say. So Jacob was like, you can do it, Grandma, just being a little patient. Sometimes you, I have to be patient with some of my students who may not understand different things. So I just have to take my time, be reserved, and be a little patient. What are some things you have to be patient for? Let me know down in the comment section. Grandma was amazed at how much the phone <laughs> could do. Let's read and repeat. Grandma was, was amazed at how much the phone could do. Look at grandma. Oh, we, I can do this. I can do that. <laughs> Aren't phones addictive? <laughs> Aren't some apps addictive? Do you play games on your phones? Isn't it amazing how we do so many different things besides just make phone calls with our smartphones? I hope that you have bookmarked my website and you have followed me on your smartphone. I hope you leave me a comment <laughs> on your smartphone. There was a funny moment when she accidentally took a selfie. Let's read and repeat. There was a funny moment. When she accidentally, accidentally, accidentally took a selfie. So when someone accidentally does something, they do a particular thing that they did not mean to do. So sometimes when I'm recording my lessons for you guys, I accidentally cough. <laughs> OK, and I have to come over here and get some water. So I don't accidentally cough during the English lesson, especially if you're listening to me on earbuds or earphones. It could really be annoying. OK. Look at grandma taking a selfie. <laughs> and look, she doesn't have a flip phone. She has a real smartphone. Go ahead, grandma. Do your thing. <laughs> Let's continue. After some practice, grandma was a pro at using her phone. Let's read and repeat. After some practice. Grandma was a pro 
at using her new phone. So practice. Practice is when you do something over and over and over and over again. You should practice your English every day. You should watch Jay's English lessons every day. That's practice. Okay. When you become a pro, you become very experienced. You become excellent at something really, really good. You're a pro. Pretty soon, she was also on social media trying to find old friends and connect with new friends. Look at grandma out here in the meta world. <laughs> Go ahead, grandma. Let's read and repeat. Pretty soon, she was also on social media trying to find old friends and connect with new friends. Speaking of social media, I am on Instagram. For some reason, I don't have good success on Instagram. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on there a little bit. I check up on it and post every now and again. But if you want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram also. And here's the last sentence. Jacob felt proud to have helped her learn something new. Let's read and repeat. Jacob felt proud to have helped her learn something new. Awesome job. Awesome job. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to read through the entire story once again at a faster pace, nonstop, no words on the screen. So you must pay attention and you can read along with me down in the description. Let's dive in. Jacob was thrilled to teach his grandma, who had never used a smartphone, how to use one. She was a bit nervous, but excited. Jacob patiently showed her how to make calls, send texts, and take photos. Grandma was amazed at how much the phone could do. There was a funny moment when she accidentally took a selfie. After some practice, Grandma was a pro at using her phone. Pretty soon, she was also on social media trying to find old friends and connect with new friends. Jacob felt proud to have helped her learn something new. Wow, what a great story and very relatable, especially to some of my students who are having some problems with technology. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Now, for those of you who do not know, I do offer one-on-one -on -one English lessons. You can book a 30-minute one-on-one with me, Jay, yours truly. That link is down in the description. I have been so grateful to meet uh, a student, to teach them English on their personal time, and you can book your lesson as well. Also, if you want to show your support for all of the hard work that I do for putting these videos together, you can become a channel member. That link is down in the description and all of the perks and benefits of being a member. You will see those there. OK, well, I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. As always, I appreciate all of the new subscribers. I appreciate all of the kind words that you share with me. Continue to let me know if my lessons are a help to you. Uh, that is a strength to me because I enjoy helping people. With that being said, be sure to join me on my next lesson. If I've earned a like, give me a like. If you like the content, go ahead and subscribe and share today's lesson with a friend. 
Until next time, enjoy your day, and I hope you join me on my next English lesson.